What up, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Cypher Diaz, Cedric L. Jackson. Uh, just put together this really good um, Hootsuite video for you guys. So if you're not using Hootsuite yet, we'll put you on some game right now. This thing is, is phenomenal. Hootsuite will make your life 10,000 times easier if you're out there trying to uh, market online, especially if you're involved in any one of those companies, you know, Herbalife, Lysalis, uh, Primerica, you know, any of those, even it works and you know, any of those those ones, you, 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 we can name a thousand of them. So I just want to put together a little video, give you guys some value, because I want to share something with you a little later. So stick around for that. All right, peace. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Cypher Diaz, AKA Cedric L. Jackson. Um, said he said, got a little quick piece for you guys. This is on uh, Hootsuite. And I don't know if you guys use Hootsuite yet, but this is a phenomenal tool for your business, okay? So I'm gonna go over it, and I'm just gonna give you some of the key pointers of it. So here we go. As you can see here, it's already set up with your, what they call a Gravatar. So it's got your picture in here. You have all your social networks here. If you wanna add a different one, like let's say you're starting from the very beginning, gives you a list, Twitter, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, so on and so forth you'll connect through this app it'll take you to a sign-on page and you'll actually log in and then it'll sync that app with uh, Hootsuite so I'm gonna back out of there because I want to save you some time on this video I'm gonna come over to the sidebar this is stream and the uh, the publisher and the analytics so the analytics actually has uh, a feature here where if you put in a link right here you can shorten the link and then you can track the link which makes it that makes it pretty cool in my opinion you can see what the link is doing for you uh, but right here we're gonna start with the publisher and this is gonna show you what you have scheduled now as you can see it says today it's you know it's a little late for me this is what I got this is what I got going out later on today alright so as you can see my whole day is already ready for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. All I gotta add is any new videos I shoot like this one or blog posts that I might write before I go to bed. Just scheduling in there and it's already set and done and then I can pick it up from where I left off yesterday. So let's say I wanna put out a whole new post. This is what I'm gonna do. Come up here, write your message, right? Add in your link, then you can shrink it. Now there, your, your link is already in. Now you can either send it now, because normally this would say send now, or you can schedule it. And see, this is kind of how it's gonna look when it hits social media. So let's take a look at the scheduling. And now's the 14th. I can hit auto schedule and it'll put it uh, basically at whatever time it thinks is best but if you're gonna do this see how these two are pinned right here in the send uh, the, the sending of groups both of those are gonna go out at exactly the same time so even if I had like five in there they're all gonna go out the same time auto schedule does not mean that it's gonna break these up like 9 o'clock 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock it's gonna send them all at the same time so I'm gonna just remove all these and I'm going to take off this auto schedule. If you want to pick a day, you know, go to the 15th, go to the 22nd, uh, the 17th. Obviously, you can't go backwards, but you get the point. Choose the actual time, AM or PM, schedule. You're all set. Now, one thing I want to point out too is when you got Facebook and uh, Twitter in there, it'll tell you exactly. How many more uh, characters you have see how it says 103 so when I add more it, it's uh, taken away just so you get an idea of that that way you know exactly what will fit in your post or not and get creative with it so we can take this all out I'm gonna cancel that and then add any any uh, group just click on it that's all you gotta do and now it's in there you just gotta click on it So here, let me close this all out. 
Now let me show you this here. This is the actual schedule. Here, I can edit from right here. If I want to delete the whole group, I can delete it and that post won't go out at all. So I'm just going to edit right here. Now see it's got Twitter, LinkedIn, and my Google Plus page. So that's the actual post. If I want to change it, I click on another date, click on another time, save changes. It's real simple. And if you notice there too, let's do it again. It still has how many characters I have left for Twitter, even in this box here. And you can you can look at this view any way you want. You can change it from you know day, week, you know, even a month's view. I personally like the list best. That's just what I like. You know. So just wanted to go over that with you guys. So I shared with you uh, how to edit your post, how to use the link shortener, the analytics. You go right here. You can check out the analytics. I haven't sent any yet because I use uh, ClickMeter instead, which I don't think this is bad. It's just I prefer ClickMeter. But uh, you can use that there to track how many people are clicking on the link you set up that you shorten. Now, if you just put in just a normal link here, it's not going to track that. It's only going to track it if you shorten it and it becomes a uh, Hootsuite link. It's called the Alley. So. One last thing I want to show you guys is let's say I wanted to post to this group right here all the time. You can leave it as a preset by dropping a pen on it. So the pen will always stay. Every time I repost anything, that pen's always going to be there until I unpin. See how it's blue? When I unpin it, now it's it's blank. So I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover with you guys. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Alright guys, I'm glad you watched the video on Hootsuite. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a lot of uh, information out of that. Now I want to share one more thing with you. And that's uh, something that's going to make your business way more attractive and bring in the, the type of people that you want to bring in. People that are more like yourself. People that are like-minded. The pe these are the people you want to bring into your business. Now let's talk about why they're probably not attracted to your business as it sits now. And it really didn't have a lot with you personally because that has nothing to do with it. People like people and chances are people probably like you because you're watching this. That's exactly why they like you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, seriously, here's the thing. The reason why it's not attractive is if I were to tell you, hey, come on over to my house. I'm having like 15, 20 people come over. I got this new business opportunity I want you to get involved with. And, you know, it's, it's great. It's the, it's the latest thing since sliced bread. Now most people are going to be like, you know what, I'm busy or now you're cutting in the middle of time or, or whatever the case may be, so that's not attractive. Or you may have, you know, a friend of yours, uh, you know, you call them up, you pitch them your idea, and then uh, when they start hemming and hawing and giving you, you know, objections, and you're like, well, hang on, talk to my buddy. Now you put your, you know, the, your upline on the phone and he proceeds to close them. That's not attractive either because... Even if they do get into the business, they're thinking, well, you know, one day that's going to have to be me. I'm going to have to be closing people like that. And that's something I don't want to do. I see all the benefits of your company and wanting to get in, but I probably don't want to do that. Other thing is, is inviting people over or going out on calls to people's houses and having, you know, kitchen table presentations. Now, everything I just said, don't get me wrong. Those things do work and people do get results from them and people make millions of dollars doing it. So I'm not saying that they don't work, but what I want to share with you is there's a different technique that is being applied today in 2013 that avoids all those, those same techniques. There's no cold calls, there's no three-way calls, there's no home parties or kitchen table uh, presentations. And if you want to know how do you get people into your business without doing those things, then you need to click the link. If you're good and you want to keep doing those things, thanks for watching the video. Have a good one. Cypher D is out.